Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. Today we are going to quickly revise lipoprotein which are frequently asked as a short not long answer question as well as in a multiple choice question. So basically lipoproteins are the compound lipids which is formed by a combination of lipid with protein and the protein part is known as a apolipoprotein. Now this lipoprotein they are required for the transport of lipids in the plasma. And this lipoproteins are classified into five main categories. First one is the chylomicron, second one is the very low density lipoprotein, third one is the intermediate density lipoprotein, fourth one is the low density lipoprotein and the fifth one is the high density lipoprotein. So now we will see composition and characteristic of all these lipoproteins. As we have discussed, Chylomicrons, very low density lipoprotein, low density lipoprotein and high density lipoprotein. So the source of chylomicron is the intestine, source of very low density lipoprotein is the liver, source of low density lipoprotein it is formed from very low density lipoprotein and the high density lipoprotein it is formed from liver and intestine. Now from chylomicron to HDL the size decreases. So the chylomicron is the bigger in size while VLDL is the large in size, LDL is the small in size and HDL is the smallest in size. As the size decreases, so the density increases. So the chylomicron will have a low density while the HDL will have a high density. And as the density increases, so the protein content will also increase. The chylomicron will have a low protein content while HDL have a high protein content that is 50%. Now what are the apolipoprotein which are present in this lipoproteins? So the chylomicron contain apolipoprotein A, B48, C and E while VLDL contain apolipoprotein B100, C and E. Major apolipoprotein which is present in the LDL is the apolipoprotein B100 while the apolipoprotein which are present in the HDL are apolipoprotein A, C, B and E. Now we will see the individual components of this uh, lipoprotein. So the lipid contain of the chylomicron is around 98% and it contain very low amount of protein that is 2%. Now in the 98% uh, around 90% is triacylglycerol. The chylo chylomicron contain higher amount of triacylglycerol. While the phospholipo phospholipid is around 4% and the cholesterol is the 4%. Now VLDL. So VLDL lipid contain is the 95% and the protein contain is the 5%. And in the 95% triacylglycerol is the 65%, cholesterol is the 20% and the phospholipid is the 10%. LDL contain higher amount of cholesterol. Lipid contain is 80% and the protein contain is the 20% and in the 80% cholesterol part is the 50% so it contains higher amount of the cholesterol while remaining 20% is of phospholipid and the 10% is the triacylglycerol. Now HDL contain 50% lipid part and 50% protein part and in this 50% of the lipid part there is a 30% amount is the phospholipid so the HDL contain higher amount of the phospholipid. While the 15% is cholesterol and 5% is the triacylglycerol. HDL contain lower amount of the triacylglycerol. So the points to remember are chylomicron contain higher amount of the triacylglycerol. LDL contain higher amount of cholesterol. While HDL contain, high, HDL contain higher amount of protein, higher amount of phospholipid and lower amount of triacylglycerol. So that is the composition and characteristic of lipoproteins. Now we will see functions of all these lipoproteins. So the function of chylomicron is it is formed in the intestine as we have discussed in the previous slide and it carry dietary triacylglycerol to the liver that is exogenous triacylglycerol. Now what is the function of VLDL? So VLDL it carry endogenous triacylglycerol. Fine. Function of IDL that is intermediate density lipoprotein which is the VLDL remnant so it is formed from VLDL. And LDL, that is low density lipoprotein, is formed from IDL. Fine. Now, what is the function of LDL? So, LDL is derived from the VLDL remnant. Fine. And it delivers cholesterol and cholesterol ester 
to the extra hepatic tissues remember ldl will deliver cholesterol and cholesterol ester to the extra hepatic tissues that's why it is known as the bad cholesterol fine that is low density lipoprotein and what is the function of hdl so hdl it is formed in the liver and intestine and it will deliver cholesterol from peripheral tissues to the liver and other steroidogenic tissues and that's why this hdl is known as the good cholesterol now we will see the function of apolipoprotein so the first function of apoa1 so apoa1 is the structural component of hdl which is a good cholesterol it act as a ligand for, for hdl receptor it will activate lecithin cholesterol acid transferase enzyme and it will play crucial role in the reverse cholesterol transport so that is the apoa1 then apoa b100 so apoa b100 is the structural component of ldl and vldl and it act as a ligand from for the ldl receptor then apoa b48 so apoa b48 is it is the structural component of chylomicron then apoa c2 apoa c2 it act as a activator of lipoprotein lipase enzyme while apoc3 it will inhibit the lipoprotein lipase enzyme while apoe it is a arginine rich lipo arginine rich apo protein fine and it will act as a ligand for, for the ldl receptor as well as for the chylomicron remnant receptor so that is all about lipoproteins Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it. Thank you.